I'm starting a new series that I'm going to call Elk Gear 101. And this is a series that based on my three years of elk hunting and getting ready for my fourth year, I want to let people know what I started out using when I began elk hunting and then what I've slowly uh, purchased over the years and increased my equipment level and increased uh, the stuff I have. It's lighter now than it was before. Uh, and just kind of my evolution uh, from when I started elk hunting until getting ready for this fourth year uh, to really prepare for the hunt. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to hunt elk. I'm not going to tell you how to find elk. I haven't even shot an elk myself. What I have done is I've done a lot of time in the mountains. I've made mistakes and I bought the wrong gear or I bought too heavy a gear. So I'm going to go over some things that I've learned through a series of videos to kind of let you see what I did wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes I did. So some of the topics I'm going to cover are like uh, rifle choice and weight, uh, cartridge selection for elk hunting, scopes and mounting systems, uh, carry systems for your uh, rifle, uh, backpacks and trekking poles, uh, knives uh, and game bags for proper care after the kill, uh, tents and sleeping bags, what works and what doesn't and how to use them. Uh, going to cover food, cooking, and water filtration while you're up on the mountain. And uh, also going to cover how I have uh, evolved in my workout regiment uh, to get in shape for high altitude, which is not easy when you're down near sea level like I am. So uh, these are just a few topics, and this might expand because I might think of something that I, I haven't thought of already and do an extra video or two on that. So uh, this is the introduction. Stay tuned. Uh, more to come.